actually have just 10 minutes to get ready I saw this phenomenon on tiktok which was called voiceover and i was like oh my gosh yes i need to be voiceover not like i can relate to anything that happened in the book but first things first you guys i'm resuming law school again anymore i really just don't talk a lot anymore there's so much to catch up on welcome and welcome back to my channel i just filmed the whole intro and it didn't film so you can see i already have my foundation on anyways while i'm doing a get ready with me i'm going to speaking on the products i'm using they'll all be in the description box if you're curious about any single product that i'm using before i get into this video please give this video a like and subscribe thank you it's currently 2 43 i am in a hurry I actually have just 10 minutes to get ready because i have to leave the house by three i'm going out for a very late brunch with Bisayo. we haven't seen each other in so long We've been in a very long distance relationship. I don't think we've seen each other since February because she's in Abuja and I'm in Lagos. And yeah, we just haven't seen each other and I miss her so much. So I'm really happy to go out, eat, talk. There's so much to catch up on. Like so much. Anyways, I just said to do this, get ready with me on youtube because this is something that i'll do on tiktok and i really just want to bring my tiktok videos to youtube because youtube is my first love and uh, i just want to be back on my youtube game and somebody in the comments was like oh amy i feel like you're you are putting yourself under a lot of pressure you don't have to do only vlogs you can just make regular sit down videos and i was like oh my gosh why did i forget to that i could just sit down and talk and you know it was let's talk a bit because i don't really talk that much in my vlogs anymore i really just don't talk a lot anymore i think it's old age but we have a lot of catching up to do first things first you guys i'm resuming law school again if you saw my i quit law school video you know the whole reason i stopped going to law school in the first place was because i was posted to yola and i had no intention of going to yola and like i said in that video like i'm not that passionate about law school and going immediately that i would carry my load and go all the way to yola freaking state so i was like i'm willing to wait for a whole year but in my favor god works in mysterious ways actually in my favor there is a law school for the first time ever i think actually because they had, i've never seen this before there's a backlog set so everybody that hasn't gone to law school since gets the opportunity to go this june so i already did my registration i did my registration last week there's a long holiday because of eid i'll have eid because of eid and i'm not just even try to say what it is because of eid there's a really long holiday so we're resuming school proper on wednesday which is tomorrow i think we're resuming school proper tomorrow i don't i don't actually know because nobody's saying anything to be very honest but i resume school tomorrow and i'm really nervous but i'm also really excited to have structure once again like i just really want to be done with law school and then focus on other parts of my life because to be very honest i feel like a part of me is just like I don't really want to start anything because i don't want to have to start law school and then have to drop whatever it is that i'm doing so i'm really excited to go to law school and just be done with law school i know that i'm done with law for now until i decide on what i'm going to use my law degree to do as you guys can see i'm actually in a hurry anyway so that's that's that that's the first update so you guys should stay tuned for law school vlogs both on my tiktok and on youtube subscribe if you're not already subscribed and my tiktok is cowgirl amy which is actually a very funny name <laughs> to be very honest i don't know how i came up with that and i don't know why i'm still sticking with that but i like it it's cool whatever i'm actually sweating right now but i can't turn on my fan because it's going to be really noisy what else oh my gosh me let me tell you guys about my May. May, I was sober. So I decided to go up alcohol. And then I saw this phenomenon on TikTok, which was called Boy Sober. Y'all know I'm going boy sober for a year, which means no dating, no romance, no nothing for a full year. And I was thinking today, I did sort of have the realization. I was like, oh, I don't know. This actually might be a lifetime thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I need to be boys over because Lagos is actually between trenches. And in as much as I don't have any terrible dating stories, I just was like, 
I'm really just, I really just don't want to be talking to anybody right now. I need, and really need to focus on myself and just, you know, focus on myself. Did I do any focusing on myself? No. <laughs> but I, I decided to be voiceover in me. And I really don't have anything to say about that, except for the fact that I was voiceover in me. I don't even know if I was really voiceover to be around because, I mean... I actually want to speak about something completely forgot. God, I'm actually in a freaking hurry. And I don't want to ruin my makeup because I want to actually take pictures. We're going to Tiffany Amber. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it on TikTok, but like it's getting really popular on TikTok. It's really pretty. So I was like, let's go there. Let's see what the vibes are about. And you guys, I'm just so very excited to see this style because we haven't seen each other in so long this weekend i went i spent this long weekend at my mom's house and honestly it's giving countryside it's giving focusing on myself <laughs> it's giving focusing on myself i really love spending time with my mom and i just really love there it's just that it's really far from everywhere to be honest if it was really close that's where i'll be staying because I don't really have any plans of living alone and i also i'm just tired of staying with my brother it's not like anything it's just more of i need a bigger space i love my room i love my space but i just feel like i need a bigger space because there's so much more that i would like to do that i just don't feel like i can do here and i really love my mom's house for that because it's just a very much bigger space i feel like i'm rambling but like I'm just saying everything that's going on in my head right now and i hope you guys don't mind i'm actually almost done with my makeup i don't know if i'm going to edit this video i might just post it as me brushing to do my makeup oh my god there's something i actually wanted to say we got talk about did you guys see the whole jillian and money situation that was going on on tiktok i need to give my two cents on that because to be honest First of all, men would actually embarrass you. And I'm saying this from a place of Jalen didn't need to go online saying whatever it is he was saying. And knowing fully well that people online would always, always misconstrue whatever it is they are saying. You can be saying, My girlfriend is the most beautiful girl in the world, but I love my mother. And it'll be like, Oh, you're trying to say you hate your girlfriend. Like, people would always misconstrue every single thing that you do online so i don't know why he would go online speaking about all of that and now everybody is coming out to be saying their own stories about him and what it is that he has done and then this girl came out and she's like um jaylene invited me for like a camping um a brand camping thing and because of i didn't want to do anything with him he gave me a silent treatment all like throughout the trip and i was like if i was in Moni's place i wouldn't even know what i'm gonna do because that is so weird and the fact that everything would have been avoided if he just you know shut up his mouth if he didn't say anything and then everybody's coming out now to be saying their stories about him and i don't know i just i just feel very bad for Moni because it's just really weird Honestly, it's just really weird. And I don't know how I would feel if I was the one in this position. I think I'll just be overthinking things a lot. Oh my gosh, you guys, I have like three more minutes to finish my makeup. Okay, this is me editing. I was rushing so much that I completely forgot what I was going to say. I was going to talk about how the switch up on Monet really freaks me out. Because everybody was like, I love Monet, I love Monet, I love Monet. And I love Monet because I love her videos. Like, I'm not really invested into like people's lives like that to be honest i just enjoy content for what it is which is you know videos that you can watch when you're bored like enjoy good content when you see good content but it really freaks me out how people say switching up on her because this whole thing happened when she had a like a brand release like she's launching her fragrance which with the brand and then the whole comments like provider um so you're out here providing blah 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 blah, blah. and it's just so weird because like why why are the people not switching up on her? Like, what did she do? Let's even give an instance where she is in a 50-50 relationship. You know that people can decide to be in a 50 Like, why is everybody acting like as if they're holding her hostage 
if she's in that situation i'm not saying she is given an example of a situation maybe she is in a 50 50 relationship why are you shaming her for being in a 50 50 relationship why are you switching up on her why are you hitting on her like why any of that if anything take the hit to the person who said whatever he said on the podcast why are we switching up on Monet? it's just so weird and i'm like so i try to say that even me with this my tiny little my little little following people will just switch up on me like that i mean i saw it i said a little bit i said a little bit when somebody came uh when somebody came on tiktok i was posting some stupid, stupid i didn't want to talk about it. maybe i'll talk about it in another like video when i'm getting ready when somebody came on tiktok i was talking about some stupid the reason why amy is not friends with blah 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 and people not even people there's like two people <laughs> i brought up two people like two people maybe three people came on my page and were like uh we heard what they said about you and i used to love you and i was like bitch shut the fuck up who the fuck are these people i don't know these people i don't know what this story is about i don't know anything like this is so weird why am i holding my fucking retainer this is so weird why are people switching up on her so it just freaks me out it's like it almost makes me not want to do social media but at the same time it's just like I can't kill myself the same way Monique can't kill herself about the people commenting rubbish on her page. I also kind of kill myself and I would not kill myself. And that is the, the end of this tangent. Back to the video. Please guys, I need to know what it is that you guys want to see from me moving forward. I really want to do like very low effort videos just like this one where I sit down and just ramble. But I also want to know what you guys want to see. I know that people want me to do like skincare, talk about makeup and all of that, but I feel like <laughs> those can be short form content. Also with TikTok right now, I don't know what I can do on, on YouTube that, you know, cause like people, I feel like people's attention spans are really, really low and like short right now. So I'm like, I don't know what I can do on YouTube because everything can just be uh, two minute tiktok video like a skincare video where i'm here speaking and talking and talking and talking can be a one minute tiktok video where i just show you guys you know but at the same time i need to find a balance i need to be able to do just regular videos on my youtube and i hope you guys will watch it to be honest i really just need to know that you guys will watch it if i know that you guys are watching my videos and you guys are sharing it and you guys are really enjoying it i don't mind just setting up my camera and talking for hours you know i really don't mind. i really just want to know what you guys want to see and i want to speak to you guys like on the i want to say daily basis but definitely not daily basis but like on a weekly basis you know we can just sit and talk and have a chit chat because i feel like i've changed i feel like i've grown a lot and I don't know if you guys know me like that anymore obviously you know my life but i don't think you know me because i don't really share my opinion on anything i don't really speak about how i'm feeling anymore and i don't know why i think it's once again old age with old age <laughs> with old age a lot of things are just happening a lot of things are just changing and i don't know how to find a balance between what it is i used to do and what it is i want to do moving forward but yeah I'm I'm still like thinking about it and moving forward. And this is TMI, but I just got my period today. And I noticed that every single time before I get on my period, I start feeling a lot of feelings. Like I start feeling a little bit crazy, I'm not going to lie. And before my period came yesterday, I was there thinking, oh my god, my period is already coming. My period is coming soon. I know my period is coming soon. Because how I was feeling. Like every single thing was making me cry. And then I was on TikTok. <laughs> I was watching TikTok randomly and I saw somebody reading. Not somebody wasn't even reading. You guys know I read A Little Life over a year ago now. I read the book twice. It's a really heart wrenching, sad book. But it's also one of my favorite books I've ever read because it just speaks so much to me. Not like I can relate to anything that happened in the book, but more of I just felt that book so deeply and Honestly, I just saw that book so deeply and I always think about Jude St. Francis. So I was watching TikTok and I heard a sound from the book. You Jude St. Francis, you are my oldest, dearest friend. You're the son of Harold Stein and Julia Altman. 
You're the friend of Malcolm Irvine, of Jean-Baptiste Marion, of Andy Contractor. You're a New York. And you guys, I started weeping. I'm not joking. Like I was in bed, I was weeping. I was like, <gasps> I didn't even read the book. I just heard a sound from the book and I was crying. I just want to let you know that I went to find that video and I watched the video and I started crying again. Fucking hell. And I was like, oh my god, my period is coming. <laughs> Literally, that's all I needed to know that my period was coming. And it was coming very fast. Because I was like, why the fuck am I crying? And then this morning my period came. Oh, I love being a woman. And this happens every single freaking month. My period is coming the day before, the week before. I'm just crying and crying and crying. But i'm done doing my makeup this is my outfit this is my dress it is from Timare. it is so freaking beautiful i love this dress so much it's so flattering this is how i'm going to wear my hair thing because i don't really want to do anything and it's really hot you guys think i should do this back or should i do a crotch i think i'll do this one to do this because the crotch is like deep in my wardrobe this is the scent of the day it is the Ralph Lauren Romance. I love this perfume so freaking much. And you guys, don't be, if you want to smell nice all day, don't be stingy with your perfume. Spray that shit. Spray it. I'm going to mix it with the Mugler Alien. Ooh, this is such a sweet smell. For jewelry, we're just gonna do this bracelet. It is from Air Roots. And then this ring, I actually don't remember where it's from, it's actually thrifted. I need to moisturize my hands. Tan cream went viral on TikTok and it is so good, but I don't think it's as good as the hype. I know it's really, really good, but like the way they were hyping it, I was like, you guys, can we calm down please? I know it's really good, but like it's not that crazy. I'm gonna put this in my handbag actually. Uh, so hand cream, lip gloss. Where's my car? I hate rushing. Like I don't do that with rushing. You guys, I go everywhere with my Kindle because I read every occasion. <laughs> I read every single minute I have and then we have my card holder. I think that's all I need in my bag. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so much. Please like, please subscribe, please share. Let me know what you guys want the next week's video to be. And if I cannot be doing videos like this, to be honest, I don't mind posting twice a week. But let me know. Bye.